that's my butternut butternut squash plant it's literally coming out from the garden and um it's literally about six to seven feet and what it was doing it was just producing all male flowers and you could see i have a lot of male flowers still so what i did i removed some of the lower leaves and i removed a bunch of the male flowers which i'm going to show you guys soon and then after i did that now you could see i start getting one fruit i got another one over there too and i got one there three and if you, if you see right here I was, it's like green with white spots that's your female it's like tick uh that's a male right here see the little skinny stem over there with a flower at the end that's your male it's a hot mess here this is another plant it's over a feet this is a butternut squash and you could see i have powdery mildew which i gotta get rid of but i have a lot of male have we have a short garden season and we want to get some female if you don't have bees in your garden you leave a couple of male to attract the bees so the first thing you need to do if you didn't add fertilizer make sure to add fertilizer to keep the plant healthy the female need the soil to be healthy plant need to be healthy second thing we're gonna do make sure you prune in the evening time it's good so we have the plant to have about one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven leaves right so what i do i remove one and Two. and then we have some little baby one right here i'm not going to give it a chance if you guys can see i'm not going to give it a chance to grow there so by removing this we have a lot more airflow and look we have a male so i'm going to remove two male there now we have this one more see that now one more is all the way low so if we remove this one more we still have it one two three four five six which is a good enough leaf because you see my grow point it's now growing so we're going to remove that one more leaf so that's perfectly clean. Now we have one male, two male, three, four, five, six male. We have six male. This is what I do. I'm going to skip this one. I pinch out this one. I skip one more. And I remove this one. This one right here. I'm, I'm, instead of re removing this baby one, maybe if we get a female here, this could be pollinated. So we're going to remove this one before. Even if you have pumpkin plant, zucchini, squash, you could uh, cross pollinate, they all work the same. And you could do this for your pumpkin plant too, zucchini, squash, all that you could do. What I just did, prune and remove some of the male flowers. What I just did there was a simple pruning that really actually works fast. Now, do this in the evening time. If your plant is over a feet, remove two to three lower leaves. By removing the lower leaves, you create a more better airflow. When you hold in your host of water, it does not water the leaves, it water the soil directly to the plant, which is more healthy and safe for your plant again, less disease. Now, the other thing what I did, I made a mistake and do not make this mistake. I did not pay attention to this plant. It grow over six feet. It wasted so much time and energy behind growing leaves and growing male flowers which i did not benefit anything from so it's kind of my mistake so do not make this mistake avoid this mistake definitely prune and if you have about 10 male flowers i suggest you remove five if you have a lot of bees in your garden you do not need to attract more bees so you do not need to leave 10 male flowers by the time the plant use that energy to grow those 10 male flowers you could have been getting some veggies so as you see when i prune that for my other plant you can see i got three female flowers within a couple days by pruning and remove the male flowers you do not hurt the plant the basically thing what you're doing is to speed up the growing process so pruning and removing the male flowers speed up the growing process so this way it could bring in more female flowers or it could bring in a female flowers if you don't have any like me and this worked for pumpkin plant squash plant zucchini plant uh watermelon cantaloupe a lot of plants this works for and the other thing which i recommend it if you did not add fertilizer to your plant add fertilizer you need to keep your plant healthy if you keep your plant healthy and you water on time your plant is going to grow and produce real well and really fast and your fruit uh your and your fruit and veggies will be delicious it will taste 10 times better you could normally add fertilizer every two week on x Except if it's like pumpkin plant you know you could do once a week pumpkin plant to start once they start producing growing they get massive they use a lot of energy so go ahead and do that especially if you have a short garden season you do not want to grow just male flowers and leaves any question comment below i love to answer and thank you so much for everyone who's been watching to support me i really do appreciate it and if you're new welcome to green tea garden We're all about growing a better home garden together i'm from long island new york 
please do click the red subscribe button is 100 percent free it helps out my channel to grow and i do appreciate it so much if that's the one thing you could do for green tea garden is to subscribe it's free or even share my videos to help others out. i'll see everyone next time on green tea garden don't forget check out my playlist too i have a lot more videos in there